You're telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? <laughs> What's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we got a package in we've got box five of the fan home diagostini build your own back to the future delorean time machine this is stages 17 through 21 uh this one's going to be taking a while to build you know I, I've, I've had delays on it i've had delays on my robocop i got box five of robocop actually came in but I still haven't gotten box four yet. They did seem, send me an email saying that uh, they just got new stock in and they're gonna be sending out box four soon. Hopefully that happens and I'm able to go ahead and continue on with RoboCop. Uh, but today we're gonna be continuing on with the Back to the Future DeLorean. If you guys are interested in building the fan home Back to the Future DeLorean time machine, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, as you can see, I already opened it. It's already been opened. Because I wasn't sure if this was the uh, the DeLorean or the parts for the RoboCop, so I needed to open it up to make sure uh, before I made a video of it. So let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open and see what we got inside. All right. Take the paper out of the way. Looks like we got all five of our stages here, 17 through 21. And we got our magazines. Go ahead and uh, get rid of this empty box. Jesus Christ, Doc, you disintegrated Einstein. Whoa, that was heavy. All right, guys, let's get started with issue 17 here. Let's get a quick glance through the magazine. Okay, here's our parts we're going to be using here. Looks so like we're going to be continuing on working on the engine and transmission area. Here we go. When we get done, we're going to have this. And we get to look through uh, more of the actual magazine here. The production diary. Here he is, a little Johnny B. Good playing here. And this is what we're going to be working on in the next issue. All right, let's get started. Okay, for starters, I was just going over everything, making sure I had all my pieces for this pack. And uh, it looks like they sent, uh, instead of DP screws, they sent DM screws. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not. Everything else is correct. Uh, but yeah, they sent DM screws instead of DP screws. Uh, maybe they had a reason for that, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, starting off, we have 17A and 17B, and we're going to be putting those together. This is going to go this direction around with these uh, square pieces towards the bottom and a uh, thicker area also towards the bottom, and they're just going to fit together just like that. And then we're going to secure that in with two of the FP screws. Get our screwdriver. Yeah, there's one. Let's go ahead and get the other one in. There it is. It's gonna look just like that. All right, guys, now we have the uh, transmission piece from our uh, previous issue. Uh, this is uh, part 16F, I believe. Uh, so it's from issue 16. And then we're going to take uh, part 17D, and we're gonna be screwing this onto the rear of the transmission. Now, something I noticed right away is this looks nothing like uh, what it does in the magazine. It looks completely different. I don't know if they changed it somewhere along the way uh, or what, but it doesn't look anything uh, like it. It looks totally different. The whole back end is different. The way these holes are different. Everything's different. But anyways, uh, yeah, it would be my guess that they changed the design somewhere along the way. But so this piece is going to go in. It fits. Uh, it looks uh, just like with the rounded corners on the top. It says the rounded corners. Uh, it's going to fit in that one direction. I don't even know if it would go. It wouldn't even go properly this way. It would fit on, but not properly. It needs to sit in there just like that. Okay. And then we're going to screw that in with the two uh, DP screws. But like I said before, they sent DM screws 
And I can see why, because this is metal. So it's actually screwing in the metal. So this is also metal. Uh, so I'm sure that's why they sent the DM screws. Maybe that's just a typo, the DP part. So we're gonna get two of those DM screws out. And because it's this screwing in the metal, I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. I'm gonna try my new oil here uh, from Liberty Oil Products. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. If anybody's interested in it, this is a synthetic lubricant. So just a little drop on each one. Doesn't take much, guys, just a little bit. I'm gonna put that back together. Just like that, and we're gonna screw that in. Well, that went right in nice and easy. Go ahead and do the other one. Again, went right in nice and easy. It's nice and tight on there. See, there we go. All right, guys, now we got part 17C that we're gonna be adding to this. Also metal, going into metal, and we're gonna be using those DM screws. It says DP on the instructions. This DM screws. So we're just gonna line these three holes up here with these three pegs, just like that. And uh, But first we're gonna add a little oil and then we're gonna screw that in with those three screws. Yeah, three little bloops of oil, little bloop bloop there, little bloop there, little bloop there. Get that back on and we're gonna screw those in. There we go guys, gonna look just like that. If you guys are interested, this is the Fantic E1 Max screwdriver. I'll leave a link to that also down in the description down below. Great screwdriver to have. It really is a uh, lifesaver on your hands and fingers on this, especially if you have any kind of arthritis or something. It really, you know, it helps, uh, helps quite a bit. So anyways, like I said, I'll leave a link to that down below. Let's continue on. All right, guys, now we have uh, 17E and 17F, or just part E and F. And uh, this one's going to go into this one. We have uh, two holes here. As you can see there, one's bigger and one's smaller. We have uh, one bigger and one smaller pin on this. And they're going to fit right in there and just press in. Yeah, snap it down in there just like that. Okay. All right, so this is the starter. And that's going to go on uh, this way. You got this hole right here. Uh, and this peg is going to fit into that hole. Just uh, kind of line it up just like that. You got a small pin here. And then you have this peg that the screw is going to go into. This small pin is going to go in this small hole. And the peg is going to go in there. So it only goes that one way. You'll feel it go in and it's nice and snug. And then we're going to screw it in from this side with one AP screw. All right, let's go ahead and get that screwed in there. Nice and snug. It's going to look just like that. All right, guys, now we have that assembly, and we have the, the uh, oil pan, I believe it is, assembly that we did at the beginning. And this is going to go on. Uh, this large peg here is going to go right into this notch and line up with these two holes just like this. And we're gonna screw that in to those two holes right inside there with two JM screws. And yeah, that's going into metal, so we're gonna add just a little bit of oil uh, here and here. There we go, we're gonna put that back on and we're gonna screw that in with those two JM screws. Let's see if we can get a good look at it from this angle here. Go right in there, and we're gonna screw that in. Let's get this other one going. Get it nice and tight, just like that. There we go. And that's going to look just like this when it's done. All right, guys, and that's the end of stage 17. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 18. All right, here's the magazine for stage 18. That open here. And here was our parts here. We're going to be continuing on working on the motor here. And it looks like, uh, is it going to be part of this, these vents here? No, I think it's just circling where the motor is. We'll be putting these parts together. Looks like manifold parts here. And when we get done, we'll have this here. All right. More on the production diary. Yeah, a little bit of Biff and Marty here. Marty and Doc. It's about Harry Waters. He plays uh, Marvin Barry in the movie here. 
All right, and this is uh, what we'll be doing in the next in the next stage. So let's go ahead and get started on eighteen. All right, guys, we have eighteen uh, B and uh, the fuel filter eighteen C, and that's going to be fastening on uh, to this bolt right here. It's just going to sit right in, and it really can't go on any wrong way. And then we're going to screw that from this side with a uh, AP screw. Yeah, we're going to screw that in. Nice and tight. There we go. It's going to look just like that. Okay, now we have 18D, and we're going to be putting that on uh, just beside the other one. It's going to go in this hole here. It's keyed to only go one way, so we'll put that in just like that. And we'll screw that in from the other side. Uh, with another AP screw. Yeah, we're just going to hold that down from one side while we screw that in. Yeah, the screwdriver is a little too powerful for that. Let me uh, just use the standard screwdriver here. Keeps wanting to torque it, twist it. There we go. I can get a little more control. Here we are. It'll look just like that. Okay, now we got 18E. That's this one. Uh, it's the manifold that has a hole. That has a hole here. Uh, the other one does not have a hole there. And it's going to go with that hole facing upwards. And it's going to go right on just like this. Okay, and we're going to screw that in from the back with two AP screws uh, here and here. There we are. It's going to look just like that. And now we're going to get the other side. This is 18F. And the other manifold which is 18G. And we're going to put that on the same way, just on the other side, uh, this way around, with the end of the pipe going out that direction, just like that. And we're going to screw that in again with two AP screws. Here's one. There's two. And that one's going to look just like that. Okay, we're going to get our transmission and engine back out here. Right, we're going to take that uh, 18F here. It's going to go this way around. It's going to go on just like this, it's gonna go over these two holes here and here, and this pin is gonna go in this hole here, just like that. You see this top pin is gonna go in that hole right there. And it's gonna sit just like that, and we're gonna screw that down with two DM screws. I'm gonna put a little oil on those, and put it right on the screw, just like that. All right, that's one all the way in. Let's get the other one in. So now I'm going to put the oil in the hole. Get that one in there. There we are. It's going to look just like that. Okay. And now from the other side, we've got 18B. And that's going to go the same way. The little pin here is going to go in the hole right here. And then these two are going to line up over those two holes. Just like that. And we're going to put that in again with two DM screws. Okay, there's one. Let's get the other one in. And there we go. Nice and tight. And it's going to look just like that. Look how big that motor is. That's huge. Okay. And now we've got the uh, uh, part 16A or 18A here, sorry. And this is the engine back. And that's going to be going on. Uh, right on the end here, and these holes are going to go over these two holes, just like that. Fits right in like a glove. I'll be screwing that down again with two DM screws. And again, first I'm going to put a little of this synthetic lubricant. And we're going to go ahead and screw that in with them DM screws. There we go. We'll go ahead and get the other one on. Get it tightened down. There we are. Nice and snug. That ain't going anywhere. All right, guys, and that is the end of stage 18. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 19. All right, here we are, stage 19. Get a look in the magazine. Here's our parts we're going to be doing in this one, I guess. Of course, we're still going to be continuing to work on that engine. We got the engine top, uh, air pipes, water hoses, water pump, all kinds of stuff going in. All kinds of stuff, guys. Going to be building it up, and it will look like this when we're done. All right, get more into the production diary here. 
There we go. Doc's Domain. Be cool to visit this house in California. All right. This will be our parts in the next step. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, looks like we got another set of tweezers in this set. This one's kind of nice. It's got like a little rounded nose. I don't think I have any rounded nose tweezers. All of mine have a pointed nose on them. So maybe these will come in handy. All right, guys, looks like we're going to start off. We need 19D, 19E. I'm sorry, 19D and 19E, this piece here. It's like the water pump and a uh, an AP screw. All right, this is going to go on just this way around. We've got this horseshoe uh gap here and that's going to go over the top of this uh, little nub here with a hole in it. it's going to slide in just like that so it looks like this from the other side i'm going to screw that in with that ap screw it's hard to control let's use a regular screwdriver on this one get that nice and snug there we go okay it's gonna look just like that all right, now we got 19A, this uh, big metal piece right here. And this is gonna go in this end. Uh, the water pump's gonna face outwards like this, and these two uh, hoses, these plastic pieces here are gonna go into these indentions here. This side is keyed, and this side is not. So it's really only gonna go in one direction uh, to fit in properly, and it's gonna go in just like that. Again. Gonna slide in just like that. And then we're gonna get two AP screws and we're gonna screw that down with the AP screws. Okay, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna screw it down here and here with those AP screws. And put one in there. There we go, nice and snug. Get one in the other side. Here we go. Let's get that one screwed in. Nice and snug. That ain't going anywhere. And it's gonna look just like that. All right, guys, now we need the uh, water distribution pipes here. This is part 19F. It's gonna go in this way. We got a hose, a hole right here in the water pump. And then we have these three pegs here. It's gonna go into that hole in the water pump or over it, gonna push into it just like that and set over these three holes where we're gonna attach that with three AM screws. Bloops oil right on there, just like that. Move on, there's two, there's three bloops of oil. Get our pipe back in there. There we are, all the way in. And then we're gonna screw this down. Perfect, nice and easy, nice and smooth. Well, let's see if we can hit this one right here next. And that was in there nice and tight. And one more. Here we go. It's going to look just like that. All right, guys. Now we have 19B. This is the auxiliary air pipe. Okay, and that's going to go on over this pin right here. And we're going to screw that in with an AM screw. But again, we're going to put just a little of our synthetic lubricant on there. Synthetic oil, a little bloop of it right on there. We'll put that right over the top and we're going to screw that down. There it is, nice and snug. Going to look just like that. All right now we got this little uh, like rubbery pipe here. This is 19C. There's two little pins here. We're going to push this over the top pin. See if we can get a better shot of that on the side camera here. Here we go. We got that top pin right here, and that's where we're gonna push that on, maybe. We can get it to fit over it. Yeah, it's over it. Here we go, just like that. It's kind of loose on there. I figure it'll fall off. It might need to be glued on. It is very loose, actually. It falls right off. Might need to glue that on. All right, guys, and that's how that's going to look on there. Again, might need to glue this on because it just falls right off, but I, we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. But that's the end of uh, stage 19. Go ahead and move on to stage 20.
All right, guys, here's stage 20. Let's get a look inside there. Okay, here's our parts here. Of course, we're going to be continuing on with the motor. Like left in, uh, air intakes, intake bottom, manifold intakes. going to be going together just like this. And when everything's all put together, we're going to have this here. All right, more of the production diary here. It's cold. It's damn cold. A little Huey Lewis here. Power of love. <laughs> Here's Uncle Joey's uh, welcome home cake. You better get used to these bars, kid. All right, here's our parts for the next stage here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we got two 20 C's and three 20 D's. And we're going to put those on uh, in every other hole. We got a big hole and small hole. Uh, we've got a longer end and then a shorter end between the, the two, the big holes there. So starting on the end with a shorter end, we're just going to start putting these in. Uh, I think they're the same either direction. So we're just going to put them into the holes just like this. Okay, and then one will go in the middle and then one will go on the end. And then we're going to screw those in on the other side with AP screws. So we're going to need six of those. And we got a whole big bag of AP screws, so we'll be using a bunch of them. I think the easiest way to do this is I'm just going to start with one. And I'm probably, this is going to be a little finicky. I'm probably going to use just a regular manual screwdriver here. Again, we're going to just start with one here and get, get one put in. There we go. And then I'll put the other side on. And that'll give us a nice start. Let me see if I can use the electric screwdriver on that. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Okay. And then we'll get the uh, next one on. Yeah, I'll go to the end. See if it'll give us a stand to kind of put it on. Now, from what I hear, and I haven't built this model before, uh, when it's done, you're not going to see any of this. But this is all uh, going to be hidden underneath the underneath everything on top, the uh, the time machine stuff. So, let's go ahead and get this in. There we go. All right. Now we'll get the middle one in. The same way, just get it upside down like that. It'll give us a platform to screw into. Get these last two in on this stage, anyways. All right, we get done. It's gonna look gonna look like that. And now we're gonna take this with the longer end sticking off here, and we're gonna get uh, part twenty B. All right, twenty B has this little uh, half rounded piece on the end, and then. 20A has it further in. So we're going to start with 20B. And it's going to go on this piece here. And these are going to go over the little studs on the inside just like this. And I'm going to screw that in through the top with two AP screws. I'm going to go ahead and put the other side on as well. It's going to go on kind of the same way, uh, just like that. And we're going to screw all four of those in with the AP screws. Right, it's going to look just like that. Okay, we're going to get this piece back out that we did in the last stage. Got a little tube back on there. Like, like I said, guys, I might have to glue that on. This keeps falling off. All right, now we're going to take uh, the assembly that we just built, and it's going to go this way. With these uh, nubs, this end of it, heading towards the water pump end, and it's just going to drop down inside to these six holes on the sides. Just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it over and screw it in from the other side with six AP screws. It's gonna go in these three holes on each side. Okay. It's gonna look just like that from the bottom and that from the top. All right, guys, put this tube back on once again. I'm definitely probably going to have to glue this thing on here, but right now I'm just going to just keep sticking it on there like that. All right, that's the end of stage 20. Let's go ahead and move on to 21.
All right, here's 21, guys. Get a look inside here. We can see our parts that we're going to be doing. Again, continuing on. We got the right cylinder head cover, left cylinder head cover, more motor parts. Now uh, we're going to be putting that all together here. And uh, we'll have this done. This is that uh, little hose that I was showing earlier that I said that keeps falling off that I might need to uh, glue on. So I'm definitely probably going to glue that on. Uh, but anyways, this is how it's going to look when it's done. Let's get into the uh, production diary again here. More and more about the movie. Here's the information about the honeymooners. Of course, that's what they were watching at the dinner when he uh, was at his uh, mother's house. And this is going to be the parts on our next shipment that are coming, uh, 22. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to bring this assembly, uh, engine assembly piece back over from our last stages. And this is, um, yeah, let me, you know what? I'm tired of messing with this. Let me just put a little glue on it and hold it on there. I'm going to put a little super glue on it. I'm going to put a little bit right on the little nub there. This is the gel kind, so it's kind of thick. There you go. I got some right on that little nub. Let's put this on and glue it on there. Let that sit for a second and let that dry. All right, guys, so 21A is going to go here on this side, spin it around. It's going to go on this side here. It really goes one way because we have a little uh, guide pin right here that goes into this hole here. So it's really the only way it's going to go. You want to just get that guide pin into that hole and uh, lower the whole thing down on there, just like that. And now we're going to flip it over and we're going to screw this in from the other side with the two FP screws. So I'm going to put it just like this and we're going to screw it with the two FP screws. I put that up my hand here and hold it a little bit better. Nice and tight like that. I'll put the other screw in. There we are. It's going to look just like that and like that from the other side. Okay, now we're going to get uh, 21C, which is the other head cover here. I'm sorry, 21B. This is 21B. This is 21C. This uh, is going to go on here. As you can see, 21C has these pins. One of them is keyed. So it really only goes in one direction on these two holes here. So you want to put it on there and just push it in like that. And then we're going to attach it from underneath with two of those AP screws. There we go. We get the other one screwed in. Right, nice and tight. It's going to look like that. And now we got the oil filler cap. I guess that's what they're calling this. And that's going to go on to this part of 21B. And again, this one is also keyed. As you can see right there that fits into that slot. So it really goes just one way. Just like that, and we're going to screw that from underneath with an AP screw. And like I said, I'm going to make the, this look the best that I can make it look, knowing that I'll never see it again after everything else is put on. Uh, the same thing with the X-Wing. When I built the X-Wing, there was a lot of uh, very detailed pieces in those engines that you'd just never see again. And I'm going to pack this off a little. I'm going to finish this with a manual screwdriver because that... That one's got so much torque, it just wants to turn everything. Here we are. Anyways, it's going to look just like that. All right, now we got 21F and 21G. And uh, 21G's got a larger and a smaller pin and uh, a larger and a smaller hole. Now they're just going to go together like that. And then from this side, we're going to screw that in from deep down in there with an AP screw. There we go, get that screw in there. It's nice and tight on there, it's not going anywhere. All right now we got 21H, all right, and that's gonna go on here. This is gonna go this way around. 21H is gonna go this direction, like this, and we're gonna screw that in with two, you guessed it, AP screws. Then we can get one of those in. There you go, and get the other one going. Okay, it's gonna look just like that. Right, now we got 21E, this one here, and we've got the other 
21H. I think this one's actually just made wrong. Yeah, we're going to have a problem with this one because uh, it's molded wrong. As you can see, this piece here, I was thinking this one was different from the other one. Yeah, it's supposed to be two 21Hs, and they're supposed to have a little bracket that comes off of here with a hole in it, just like this one. See how this one's got the little bracket with the hole in it? This one was molded wrong, and it's not on there. So I'll, I'll still be able to do it. I'll probably just have to use a little glue or something to attach it. It's something you're never going to see, I'm sure, but uh, it will still screw on on one side, and then this side I'll have to maybe just put a little glue or something. Uh, but yeah, definitely this part was molded wrong. All right, so we're going to take 21E, and we're going to put this one on there. I'm going to go this way. Just like we did before, and we're going to screw that in with the two AP screws. There's one. We'll get the other one in. Okay. All right. We're going to get this piece back out again. All right. And face in this direction. Uh, this is going to go on just like this. It's going to go over that hole, and this is going to be on that hole. All right. And then I'm going to attach this down uh, right here with an AP screw. I'm not going to attach it real tight yet. All right, now I'm going to come around to this side here that has the little flange with the hole, and I'm going to screw that one on with another AP screw, just like that. Make sure this one's getting tight. Okay, it's going to look just like this. All right, now this one's going to be going on, and this is going to go over the end of that one, just like this. And I'm going to screw it down here, but again, on this side, part of it's missing. And it's not even close enough for me to glue it, as you can see, right there. Uh, it was uh, not molded correctly, so the part that screws down is just missing. So I'm going to be able to screw it on one side. I might actually glue this as well, just so that it's uh, firmly on there, uh, since I can't screw this side down. I might add a little bit of glue to this. So I'm going to get my glue here. I'm going to put a little drop of glue on here. Hopefully that'll be okay. It doesn't hurt anything. I don't think it will. I mean, again, this is stuff you're probably never going to see again. But uh, yeah, I just want to make sure it fits properly. I'm just going to put a couple little drops of glue just around the edge there. And I'll hold it together for a second. Okay, now I'm going to screw that on the one side with the AP screw. You won't have to do this as long as yours was molded correctly. Mine was not molded correctly, so I'm having to do a little modification. There we go. So I'm going to try to kind of hold that together there. Hopefully it'll uh, glue up properly. All right, guys, and it should look something like this. Uh, attached on that side, and it should be two screws on this side, but since mine was not made... Properly, there is only one screw. It should be okay. Should be fine. All right, let's move on. And then this right here is the screw that is missing because this piece was not molded properly. All right, now we're going to bring that engine top back out again. And this is going to be going on this side. Remember, we put this cover on this side. So this cover is going to be going over on this side. And again, there is a guide pin underneath so it can really just go one direction we're going to put that in just like that snap that on there and that's going to screw down underneath with two fp screws yeah they'll flip that over let's go ahead and get one in Bring it nice and tight get the other one in nice and tight there okay it's going to look just like that screwed down underneath here all right, now we're going to get the rest of our transmission and engine assembly here and bring it over. And now with all of this facing this direction, we're going to slide this down in there with these posts on the nose. Just like that. All right, and then we're going to screw that from the top here down in with two DM screws. And yes, that is metal. We're going into metal. So let's make sure we put some oil on those pins down here, which is what I'm going to do right now. There we go. I'm going to put that back on and we're going to screw that down. All right, 
I'm definitely gonna have to use this screwdriver because it's that one's too short to reach all the way down in here. It's far down in there. I don't know if you can see, but the screw hole is way down. There it is, right between that little triangle there. That's where it is, way down in there. And we gotta go right through that little triangle. Our magnetic screwdriver. There we go. Got it. All right, guys, it's gonna look like that. Big old motor on there. Okay, now we got this uh, hose. Where are we putting that? This hose is gonna go around here and it's gonna go over this pin on there. Let's see if I'm gonna need any glue or not. All right, we're gonna get our tweezers. We're gonna move this hose around and it's gonna go onto this uh, pin right here. See if I can get that. Now it's glued on one end, of course. There we go, just like that. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that alone. It's gonna look just like that. All right, guys, that is the end of stage 21 and the end of box five. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. All right, guys, we're all done with box five, stages 17 through 21, and we now have this transmission and motor here. Check that out, looking pretty cool. How big that thing is. It's like the size of my fist almost. Pretty good size. Uh, moving right along on this build, you know, another one that, of course, you, I, I love the build. It's fun, but I also can't wait till it's done so I can see the whole thing completed. So if you guys are interested in building the Back to the Future DeLorean time machine, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Hope you guys are enjoying the build so far. If you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See you. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.